Fairhaven-based clam boat and two fishermen are still lost at sea tonight. And as the families continue to hold out hope, we're learning new information tonight about the boat's history and its previous issues as documented by the Coast Guard. Iowa News reporter Jared Pliner is live in Fairhaven now with more on what Coast Guard records are revealing. Jared? Mike Shannon, two men rescued from this ordeal, two men still missing, as you say, a living nightmare for their families. The Massachusetts State Police, they want to send divers back to the site tomorrow when conditions are more favorable. The Coast Guard calls off its search for missing fishermen Michael Roberts and Jonathan Sereva after the misty blue went down off Nantucket on Monday. It's a possibility he's on the vessel. Robert's wife, Tammy, talking only to Eyewitness News about what has turned grim. I have my last text messages that we were texting back and forth. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to be. I don't know what happened right now. Atlantic Capes Fisheries says the boat rolled and sank. Roberts tells us, according to the captain, a violent wave hit them. Atlantic Capes Fisheries also says the vessel had no past issues, but Roberts tells Eyewitness News the boat hadn't completed a journey in a month. The last four trips they've gone out, they've come right back. They've had pump issues. They've had issues with um, some door. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the terminology. We checked with the Coast Guard. A record search shows the Misty Blue had a few incidents that led to formal reports. In May 2013, its tow line became caught in its propeller, causing about 63 grand in damage. The May before that, it ran aground off Woods Hall when the Coast Guard says the mate fell asleep at the wheel, about 54 grand in damage there. Atlantic Capes Fisheries was also asked if any crew had complained about anything aboard the boat. The answer to that was no. But just last month, a former crewman filed a lawsuit against the boat's owner in federal court, alleging he was seriously injured by a ship hazard and by the captain and crew's negligence. Now, coming up new at 6 o'clock, we hear from that litigant's attorney. And despite the answers that I just told you about from a news conference previous, we reached back out to Atlantic Capes Fisheries for clarification on this, and we have not yet heard back from them. With the new information from the attorney, we'll see you next hour. For now, live in Fairhaven tonight, Jared Planner, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tony. Tonight, we're learning about a lawsuit filed against the owner of the Fairhaven-based clam boat that sank off the Nantucket coast Monday night. Two crew members who were on the Misty Blue are still unaccounted for tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner joins us live from New Bedford with the new details on that lawsuit, which claimed the vessel was not safe. Jared? We're going to get into that, that's for sure, uh, Shannon. Now, while the Coast Guard may have wrapped its search, Mass State Police still want its divers to go to the site to try to locate the ship. The Coast Guard calls off its search for missing fishermen Michael Roberts and Jonathan Sereva from the ill-fated Misty Blue. Tonight, there is a focus on the boat's past. This is how Atlantic Capes Fisheries answered questions about it yesterday. Have there been previous issues with this vessel? No. Complaints uh, about the boat, anything wrong with it, the others that have been on it or the crew members in the past? No. Coast Guard records we found show damaged propeller and run aground incidents in 2012 and 2013. Tonight, a fishery spokesman tells us it hadn't yet acquired the boat and the boat was refurbished last winter. There's also a new lawsuit by an ex deckhand who says he shattered his heel on hazardous decking. The suit refers to an unseaworthy condition. His attorney, Joe Abramovitz. The defect could be something as simple as a patch of oil on the deck that somebody slips on. Uh, that was put there other than the person who slipped on it. That's an unseaworthy condition. And so Abramovitz is explaining this condition they're alleging does not go to the boat's overall seaworthiness and why it went down this week. Now, there was also talk of a pump, and we brought it to you, that prevented recent trips. Well, a fishery spokesman tells us tonight that pump was a fuel pump tied to clamming equipment. The bottom line here, the Coast Guard investigation into what happened continues. Live in Fairhaven tonight, Jared Planner, Eyewitness News.